If you haven't messed with Melodic Minor before, you should definitely check it out. In case you haven't heard of it or you don't know what it is, it's a vibe that sounds like this. kind of spooky, kind of spacey. You can get that vibe by taking a major scale and going to the third note in it, the major third, and lowering that note a half step to make it the minor third. So it's the major scale but with the minor third instead of the major third. So a C major scale has the notes C, D, E, F, G, A, B. And to make it melodic minor, you take the third, C, 1, D, 2, E, 3, and lower it a half step. So in this case, in the key of C, E becomes E flat. So on the piano, it's gonna be all white keys except for this one black key, the E flat. And if you stick to those notes, you get the melodic minor sound because you're playing in the world of melodic minor. We've got a bunch of other types of minor too, like really commonly natural minor, which is basically if you take a major scale and you emphasize the sixth note as the central home base tone or the tonal center. If you play, let's say in C major and you emphasize C, D, E, F, G, A, the sixth note A, and you focus everything around that A, you're going to sound like you're in A minor rather than C major, and that will be A natural minor. So an A natural minor scale is just going to be A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Now if you take that A natural minor scale and raise the seventh note up a half step, you get another minor, which is called harmonic minor. And that sounds like this. So here I'm just using that A natural minor scale, but with the seventh note in that scale raised. So in this case, it's all white keys except that G sharp there, and I'm getting the A harmonic minor sound that way. Then if I take my A harmonic minor scale and I keep the seventh note raised as it is here, and I also raise the sixth note, so A1, B2, C3, D4, E5, F becoming F sharp, F being the sixth becoming F sharp. Now with the A, B, C, D, E, F sharp, G sharp, I have A melodic minor, and that is the type of minor that this video is all about. So there's two ways to get to melodic minor. You could think of it like a major scale, but with a flatted third or a lowered third, so major scale with a minor third in it, or you could think of it as a natural minor scale with a raised sixth and a raised seventh. So we're back to spacey, spooky land here. It's really nice to explore this modality and this kind of thing on a piano because you can start to form chords just visually by seeing, all right, I'm going to stick with those white notes except those two black notes for the F sharp and G sharp and start to form chords just by sight, just by putting your fingers down on, in various configurations with those notes. If you have decent fretboard knowledge and you know where all the notes in the key of C are on your guitar, you can also do this just by thinking, all right, I'm going to raise the F to F sharp and the G to G sharp. You can put your fingers around on the guitar in a similar way, although it's just a little less intuitive because it's not as visually clear as on a piano. Here's A natural minor, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A 
harmonic minor with the raised seventh, A, B, C, D, E, F, G sharp, raised seventh, and then melodic minor with the raised sixth and raised seventh, A, B, C, D, E, F sharp's the raised sixth, E sharp's the raised seventh, and that's melodic minor. So if we are able to visualize that on all strings, You can start combining across strings and forming chords that way. Now let's take a little bit of a more theoretical approach to forming chords. Let's just take the notes in, in this case, A melodic minor, and stack them up in thirds to create seventh chords. So if we do that, we've got A, C, E, G sharp, which is A minor major seven. B, D, F sharp, A, which is B minor seven. C, E, G sharp, B, which is C augmented major seven. D, F sharp, A, C, which is D seven. E, G sharp, B, D, which is E seven. F sharp, A, C, E, which is F sharp minor seven flat five. and G sharp, B, D, F sharp, which is G sharp minor seven flat five. I don't want to overwhelm anyone too much by going into how I named all those chords. That's a whole other topic and I covered in my music theory from the ground up series if you want to go learn that. So you can use any of these chords together to form that melodic minor sound and get in that vibe. I hope this helps you get started with exploring melodic minor. It should be fairly easy to do on a piano, on a guitar. It's recommended, I'd, I'd recommend exploring natural minor pretty thoroughly and then making the changes, raising the sixth and seventh and studying melodic minor with the reference of knowing natural minor pretty well. Um, but really at any phase in your learning, you can experiment with this sort of thing as long as you know a bit about scales, a little bit about half steps and whole steps on the fretboard. You might want to explore this just on one string at a time at first if you're looking at guitar so that you can look at things horizontally the way they're laid out on a piano. Happy New Year!